Talk about the use of some of those oils, essential oils, on the skin as a topical and what are some of the health benefits we can get that way? Essential oils have a tremendous amount of benefits that they can offer to skin conditions. And topically on the skin, I mentioned lavender as kind of mm -hmm. being the universal oil for insect bites and bee stings and things that itch and burns and things like that. Uh, but they also, uh, lavender in particular, is a very nice anti-inflammatory agent for rashes. And the key here is dilution. And you do need to know that in most cases, essential oils should not be used neat or undiluted okay. on the skin. They need to be diluted, I would say, no more than 10 drops of an essential oil to one ounce of a carrier oil. That could be almond oil or even olive oil. But it needs to be diluted. A lotion is a great dilutant, too. Uh, but they do need to be diluted because used straight on the skin, undiluted, they can cause some irritation. Mm -hmm. So. Um, a little bit of knowledge is dangerous, <laughs> yeah. so it's good to be educated again on the use of these things. But diluting them and putting them on the skin is very often beneficial for a variety of conditions, including cosmetic conditions like acne and rosacea mm. and, and even eczema and things like that. Because what you put on the skin gets absorbed can get absorbed into the body too, so is there yes. concern in, in that respect? Well again, dilution is key. Mm -hmm. So I always like to think of dilution in more of a homeopathic dose than a heroic dose. So um, again, no more than 2% dilution. I mentioned the 10 drops of essential oil to one ounce of carrier. Mm -hmm. But you can use as little as one or two drops of essential oil to one ounce of carrier and have it be effective as an anti-inflammatory agent.